This is going to be our last video on the topic of uh, graphs of sine, cos, and tan. I'm going to do a quick just revision of the last video. So if we have y is equal to a sine n of x, okay, where a and n are both numbers, so a, the number before the sine, it changes the range of the graph, or basically how high and low the graph goes. And n, the number before the x, so in the middle here, it changes the period of the graph, or how often the graph repeats itself. Okay, uh, we're gonna look at cause, the exact same thing happens to cause, so I'm not gonna go into the same amount of detail. Uh, you can just watch the last video and get the same general gist. Just wanted to include cause as an example. So here we have cause of x, remember it starts at one, and the period is um, two pi. So this point here is about two pi, don't have it marked in. Um, but yeah, so it repeats itself every two pi, it goes from one to minus one, it starts at one up here, okay? The purple one that we have is is 3 cos 2 of x so you can see it goes up to 3 and down to minus 3 uh, and the 2 of x means that it repeats itself twice in the time it takes for the blue one to repeat itself once yeah so remember the range is minus a to a so whatever number is before the sine or cos that'll give its range so how high or low it goes and then the number before the x will give the period so it's either 360 divided by n or 2 pi divided by n in this case this uh, axis is in radians yeah so about six point something, that'll be two pi, okay, if you work it out in the calculator. Uh, so this exact graph, I'm just gonna write this out, the range is going to be, range is going to be minus three and three, and then the period is going to be, so the period is gonna be equal to 360 divided by two, which is 180 degrees, or, 2 pi divided by 2, which is just pi radians. Okay, does that make sense? Um, we're going to do two examples now where you have to look at the graph, and then you have to try and come up with what the formula is just by looking at it. So I'll scroll down a small bit. Okay, so this graph we have here, I'll change to orange to do it. Um, what is it basically? What formula is it? So the first thing we have to ask ourselves, is it sine or cos? Um, oh, actually, before I go into this video, uh, you need to know what happens when you put uh, numbers before cos and uh, before the x for this. So uh, you need to know how to do both of these, but you don't need to know it for tan. That's something I just forgot to mention. So you don't, don't need to know what happens when you put anything else into tan. Okay. Um, anyway, yeah, back to this. So we have to, first thing we have to decide is if it's sine or cos. So that should be handy enough to say we can say it's cos because it starts up here at the top. So I'm just going to put that little bullet point down. So this is a cos graph. Uh, the range, it goes from plus 2 to minus 2, we can see. So that means, I'm just going to write that down. The range is from minus 2 to 2. So that means we can say that it's 2 cos. Yeah, so there's going to be a number 2 before the cos. And now we have to look at the period of the graph. So it repeats itself every pi over 2. Okay, so every pi over 2 radians. Um, so how do we figure that one out? So we know that, uh, I'll scroll up, so um, yeah, any graph would say a cos n of x, the period is equal to 360 over n, or 2 pi over n, so this is the one we're going to use, okay? So we know the period of this graph, okay, is going to be 2 pi over n, yeah? We also know the period of the graph is equal to pi over 2, so that means we can say that the 2 pi over n is equal to pi over 2 okay so that's the period and we know it's going to be in the form 2 pi over n so that's why we want to find this n because then we can basically fill in the rest of this um, answer here yeah so if we find this n then we get then we have the question answered so we need to solve this to find n so I'm going to change to blue just to solve this down here uh, I'm going to multiply I'm going to basically cancel uh, this on both sides okay so we're going to be left with 2 over n is equal to 1 over 2. Yeah, so that, that's what happens when you, uh, you can just cancel pi on both sides. So you divide across by pi. And now we're going to crisscross multiply. So I'll go to orange, just to say crisscross, back to blue. So it's going to be 2 by 2 is equal to 4. And uh, 4, and, sorry, sorry, and then n by 1 is just equal to n. So we're left with 4 is equal to n. So our final answer, I'll write it in green down here, for this graph is 2 cos four of x okay so to say y is equal to two cos four of x does that make sense um 
Yeah, hopefully it does anyway. We're gonna go across to the next one. I have prepared over here. Um part two, I'll call it. So you guys should try and pause this video and see if you can figure out what it is, uh, and then you can watch the video basically the best way to do it, I think. So first question we're gonna ask is it sign or cause? This one is sine because it goes through the origin, okay? Then what's the range? It goes from minus three to plus three. So I'll write that range is minus three to three. So that means it's going to be three sine n of x. Next question is to find out how often the graph repeats itself. So sorry, I just forgot to add in the label in the axis. That's pi there and that's two pi. So how often does the graph repeat itself? It repeats itself every pi radians, okay? And we know that a normal graph is supposed to repeat itself every two pi. So we're gonna need the same, either you can do it in your head. So some people, some of you might be able to see since it repeats itself twice every two pi, that means this n here is gonna be equal to two. Uh, if not, then we can just do the the normal way. So the kind of the this equation I wrote here. So it, we know the period, okay, is always going to be two pi over n, yeah? And we can see that this period in this case is equal to pi. So two pi over n is equal to pi. And um, I'm gonna write that. So I'm gonna start trying to solve that. So we have two pi over n is equal to pi. This is our equation. I'm gonna cancel pi on both sides. We're left with two over n is equal to one. Multiply both sides by n. We're left with two is equal to n. Okay, so that means that's our n there. I'll write their final answer, uh, a little bit messy here, but just over here. We have y is equal to three sine two of x, okay? So that's an awful x, but anyway, I'm not gonna redo the video. Um, yeah, so hopefully that all made sense. So hopefully now you can tell the difference between sine and cos, you can say what happens when you put a number before sine of x or before cos of x, number before the x yeah so remember this is kind of the thing you need to remember and you should be able to look at a graph and work out what the uh, formula is yeah so the tricky bit is finding that one that, that little uh, the n but um if you can remember this try and do it sometimes you might be able to just tell straight away by looking at the graph uh, it's up to you but yeah next time we're going to start looking at the unit circle um yeah so we'll see you then